Good morning, guys. Thank you for allowing me to join you. I have some very important information. YouTube sent a message to creators. They're going to be unsubscribing people who have subscribed to different accounts. I've mentioned this before, how they think you're bots and people have complained how they've been unsubscribed from different channels and how maybe to get around that thinking you're a bot or a spammer or something like that. I don't know. They said removing spam subscriber accounts from your channel. They're going to be doing that over the next few days. But to get around that, you guys need to post a message underneath the video saying, Hi, hello, good morning, good evening. Just a few little words and hopefully they won't unsubscribe you. And please check to make sure you are still subscribed to your favorite channels. If you're not getting notification um, that your people that you enjoy are making videos, try unsubscribing and resubscribing and then clicking the bell down below. That seems to have worked for some people. But going back to what I was going to originally post about this earthquake in South Dakota. Yep, earthquakes in diverse places are definitely on the rise around the world. And there was a magnitude 2.6 down uh, by the Black Hills last night at about 7 11 p.m local time central daylight time it was in a very remote location let me zoom in you can see there's basically maybe just a handful full of people that live in this area and that's it so if anyone did feel this earthquake they did not report it this was a shallow earthquake about three miles in depth and what's interesting about this area is basically a lot of sediment, a lot of fill. Because of that, if and whenever they have a large earthquake, it will be felt over a very large area. In 2007, there was a magnitude 3.1 near Wall, South Dakota. Here you can see on the left is the Black Hills. We got Deadwood, we got Rapid City. And like I said, this is basically sediment um, washed down from the hills, from the mountains there. Let me bring this out because South Dakota does not, at least in the past, hasn't had a lot of earthquakes. There has been some along the border with Nebraska in the past. February 27th, there was a 2.6. January 4th, there was a magnitude 3.1. On the border with Nebraska on June 4th, there was a magnitude 4.2 that USGS downgraded to a 3.1. 883 people reportedly felt that earthquake. The intensity level right there was strong. Um, I did a report on that, I believe. Um, intensity level 4. Yeah, I know I did a report on that. It was reportedly felt all the way to Sioux Falls. And you see here the border with Nebraska. Over here we have the Yankton um, Reservation. We got Gregory up over here. And Platt, I believe that is. That fault line there ruptured um, probably about 10 miles. I'll give you a link to that original video, but this 2.6 that happened at 7.11 p.m., they do not, and I repeat, do not have an intensity level for this earthquake. That would have come more than likely from felt reports, but no one reportedly felt this earthquake. So more than likely, there was people that did feel this recent earthquake. So if anyone had bothered to report feeling this earthquake, it probably would have been an intensity level of, what, maybe two. There was another earthquake at the end of last year up by Bottle. That was in northern South Dakota. That was a magnitude 3.2. That was on December 9th. Just to show you how earthquakes are increasing, according to Google search, South Dakota only has maybe one earthquake every one to two years. And we've already had at least four so far this year. Four. And we're only supposed to have one um, every one to two years. 
Maybe some people felt the earthquake, but they weren't quite sure if that's what they felt. Uh, put down your comments if you did feel this earthquake, you guys. And don't forget to put a comment so you're not removed by Google claiming you're a bot. Um, thank you again. You have a great day, everyone. Um, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.